You guys, it's wine season. I have decided to try some of the best celebrity wines on the market. Cause honestly, I'm I'm kind of bored. <laughs> Singer, songwriter, actress, current reigning queen of R&B, and now winemaker? Auntie Mary has been busy, and her latest venture in Sun Goddess Wines has kept her on top of the game. Released in 2020, Mary partnered with Italian wine producer Marco Fainel to produce her highly anticipated line of Italian wine. Since its release, the wine has received rave reviews from sommeliers and wine drinkers alike, and even earned a three-star rating on the popular wine website, Vivino. But the question is, is the wine all hype, or is it worth the glass? Let's find out. Foremost, the color is gorgeous. I mean, it has that pale golden straw color that I love to see in white wines. To me, that shows it has a little age, so I would guess about one or two years. It also shows me that there isn't any oak in this wine, so that's really good. It is common for Sauvignon Blanc. You shouldn't have oak on Sauvignon Blanc. The smell is so pretty. It smells like a, a flower bouquet. Think like white and yellow flowers. It's just really pretty. It has a little bit of vanilla, just a little bit of vanilla, like a hint, uh, ripe pineapple, as well as some nice lemon zest. So it's really pretty on the nose. It's really ripe. I get a lot of ripe yellow fruit. So think like pineapple or lemon zest, you know, ripe yellow fruit. That vanilla comes through again. It really helps to like level it out and give it some balance so it's not too sharp. It does have good acid, but it still has a nice body to it to where the acid doesn't overpower it. And I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, auntie, hold on, let me just. No, I like this, auntie, I like this. A lot of times with celebrity wines, they just don't really taste good. And you can tell that like the celebrity just wanted to make some money and just slap their name on a label. This is actually pretty good. Um, and it is what you can't expect or what I would expect, me personally, out of an Italian Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, you know, it's not flamboyant, which I think a lot of cheap wine can tend to be. Honestly, Mary, Auntie, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not upset. I am not upset at this. I am not upset. Would I buy this wine again? And honestly, I would. I absolutely would. And that's a lot to say for me. I think the wine is good for the price. I don't have a headache yet, which means it's made pretty well. Um, and it tastes like an Italian Sauvignon Blanc, so. I'll buy this wine again for sure. If you've tried this wine, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know how you liked it. Or even if you didn't like it, that's on you. That's it for me today and cheers. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like and subscribe. And then of course, if you're interested in more wine content, check out the videos below for more information. Cheers guys, see you in the next video.